Um, talk about uh, for you, man. How dope has it kind of been to like when? Because I feel like when you when I, I got into radio in two thousand and five, and I think the first time I might have saw you live was maybe like oh six or oh seven. But I was like working at a radio station in Phoenix when neighborhood music like popped off. Like that shit was like a real wave. It was like yeah. that. You had the song neighborhood music. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was two thousand four. Yeah. You had a uh, bring out the freak in you. I'm trying to think of all your radio singles that we played. Those are the ones that come to my mind. Yeah, but barely getting by. They got on the radio. Barely getting by was dope. Okay, cool. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And then obviously summer nights is summer nights, but. Um, at that same time, Magic had Sexy Lady, and obviously NB Riders had what they were doing. Is it dope to kind of be able to like, like be side by side with a guy like Magic and be like, look how far we've come? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh like, yeah, yeah, we go way back too, man. We met in San Diego because uh, I believe he wanted to sign me at one point or something like that. There's, he wanted to sign you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then work together and stuff. And the, but I ended up working with the same label, and we ended up was uh, that upstairs? Putting things out, yeah, upstairs records. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, they so, had, I mean, Upstairs Records had everybody. So then we, uh, you know, I would go out to, uh, I went to Phoenix to work with, with uh, Magic, and we did uh, California, mm -hmm. and City Everyone Knows. Um, so yeah, we worked together from the get-go. And then, obviously, even like a guy like Baby Bash, who's kind of turned into everyone's favorite, like, high uncle. Yeah, 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 for <laughs> sure, man. I was just saying, man, I was on the way here, I was running a little bit late, and I was stressing out a little bit, so I, I started puffing on a joint that uh, the Bash's uh, team gave me, so... Um, that cherry wave. So yeah, shout out to Bash yeah, for that. Bash one, yeah, Bash passes you weed. You gotta. You just gotta make sure you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You, I don't smoke you, like that. I'll you got a few. You got a few like hours that, to yourself. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure, dog, for sure. So you're high right now. Uh, it's a little. Bit, a little bit. I feel good. Yeah, it's a couple puffs, and that's it. What's your biggest market <laughs> these days? Like, what do you know is like that one market? Like, no matter what, they're showing out for you. Well, I say I would say Los Angeles, man, and it's so big too. Where you got you could do a show over here and over here and over there. And you're, yeah, you could do like you're still rock. There's man. so many little areas of LA. Yeah, yeah, so for it's a sure. big market for me, man. So even that with, you know, hooking up with the Stevan for this video and everything, almost like showing love to, to LA too, you know. Um, yeah, of course, he's a legend. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. And uh, you know, talking about getting stuck like uh, like uh, like it's a Friday, in, you know, in traffic in LA, you know what I mean? And um, you don't want to get stuck in life. Did like he that, direct you know? the new video? Oh yeah, he directed the new video. Yeah. Did you watch so, his uh, Netflix documentary that they yeah, did about yeah, him and Cartoon? Yeah, that yeah, shit was sure. sick. Yeah, dog, dog, dog. Yeah. Yeah, Cartoon did these for me, man. The twelve. He did the twelve eighteen. Yeah. That's great. How much yeah. was that? Well, did he hit, did he hit you like peak, Mr. Cartoon prices for those? Uh, I don't remember, man. I think we were just fucking chilling and listening to some oldies and having a couple beers. I feel like back then, <laughs> Mr. Cartoon could have charged anything for a tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rappers yeah, would have been like. Yeah, no, I think, he hooked, I think he hooked me up pretty nicely, man. It was, it was dope. Thank you. Shout out to Cartoon, man. What's up? Shout out to Mr. Cartoon. Yeah, man. yeah, been a minute. Yeah, been a minute for sure. For sure. Um, and then Stevan shot the uh, the cover for uh, Neighborhood Music. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I shot that. So that's back in 2004, man. Wow. So we go way back, too, you know? Way back. Are you aware that, like, people kind of look at you as, like, kind of like the, the Jay Z of Chicano rap? Do you like understand that like that's like because whenever uh, we think about Chicano rap, like you are the god of it, man. Yeah, no, nah, I mean I, I hear it, man, but you know I just just always just like going to the studio and, and uh, doing my thing, man. So that part doesn't really doesn't really the uh, noise and all the like extra shit doesn't really come across your radar. Not nah, really, man. I mean it does. It comes across my radar, but I, I don't really like. It's kind of like deflected, kind of like a little bit because it doesn't make doesn't do me. I don't know. I got no opinion on it. You know. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's a trip, though. But right. I don't look at myself like that, and I just kind of like... And I think maybe that's why the people dig what I'm doing. I don't know. It just kind of works. Right. 